Assalamu alaikum my dear students how are you hope all of you are well by the grace of almighty allah welcome to NIEBS home school this is shahzadi akhtar assistant teacher of science of national Aerial english version school Deshit. today i am going to take an elementary science class for class 5 students my dear students our today's topic chapter 1 cbq chapter 1 cbq today's lecture number 4 and sw number also 4 my dear students let's start our class <coughs> in our previous class we have already discussed CBQ uh, 1 up to number 3, CBQ 1, 2, 3 and in uh, in this class we will discuss uh, CBQ 4, 5 and 6. My dear students, let us start our class. Uh, CBQ 4, the question is write 5 differences between food chain and food web. Write 5 differences between food chain and food web. 5 differences between food chain and food web are given below food chain this is food web <coughs> food chain number one the path of food energy in an ecosystem from plants to animal is called food chain the path of food energy in an ecosystem from plants to animals is called food chain <coughs> food web when several food chains connected together it is called a food web number two it establishes the relation between plants and animals my dear students Food chain establishes the relation between plants and animals and in food web <coughs> indicates the relation between different food web. It indicates the relation between different food web. Number three, in an ecosystem several food chains coexist. In an ecosystem several food chains coexist. And number three, in an ecosystem one food web can exist. Food chain, the beginning of food chain is from green plants the beginning of food chain is from green plants and number four food web the elements of beginning of a food web is not specific number five here eater factors and disjunct disjunctives may not exist together and food web here eater factors and disjunctives exist together my dear students i repeat this question answer food the differences between food chain and food web are given below Number one, food chain, the path of food energy in an ecosystem from plants to animals is called food chain. Food web, when several food chains connected together, it is called a food web. Number two, it establishes the relation between plants and animals and food web. Number two, it indicates the relation between different food webs. Number three, food chain, in an ecosystem, several food chains coexist. Number three, food web, in an ecosystem, one food web can exist. Number four, food chain. The beginning of food chain is from green plants. Number four, the elements of beginning of a food web is not specific. Number five, here eater factors and disjunctives may not exist together. And food web, here eater factors and disjunctives exist together. Now, CBQ number five, explain how snakes and eagles are similar in a food chain. All animals directly or indirectly depend on plants for their energy. A plant produces its own food using the energy of the sunlight. The path of food energy in an ecosystem from plants to animals is called food chain. In the same process, the frog is eaten by the frog is eaten by <coughs> eagle and then the snake is eaten by an eagle. Okay? And in this um, uh, way snakes and eagles are similar in a food chain my dear students now come to question number six write six sentences about the dependence of living things on non-living things answer will be every living thing such as human animals plants depends on non-living things such as water air soil etc due to survive six sentences about the dependence of living things on non-living things are as follows number one Human beings need to need air to breathe, water to drink, and food to get nutrition for survival. Number two, human beings use soil for growing crops and land to build their shelter. Number three, animals need air, water, and food to live. Number four, animals use soil and water as habitat. Number five, plants use sunlight, water, and carbon dioxide from the air to make their own food. And number six, Animals use oxygen for respiration. My dear students, I repeat question CBQ number 6 again. Uh, write 6 sentences about the dependence of living things on non-living things. 
every living thing such as human, animals, plants depends on non-living things such as water, air, soil, etc. due to survive. Six sentences about the dependence of living things on non-living things are as follows. Number one, human being needs air to breathe, water to drink and food to get nutrition for survival. Number two, human being used soil for growing crops and land to build their shelter. Number three, animals need air, water and food to live. Number four, animals use soil and water as habitat. Number five, plants use sunlight, water and carbon dioxide from the air to make their own food. And number six, animals use oxygen for respiration. My dear students, your today's HW number is four and CBQ number four is your SW so do do CBQ number 4 as your SW and submit it on Saturday my dear students I hope all of you have understood our today's topic learn properly these three CBQ see you again in the next class Allah Hafiz